All right, howdy folks. Uh, welcome to another sounds.pink tutorial. I am super excited to uh, share this one with y'all. This is going to be a demonstration of how to attach the pose detector from sounds.pink to control uh, different parameters in Ableton Live. So to get started here, we're going to go to first time and we're going to download the uh, Mac client. So the first time that I open it, it will uh, give me a security uh, issue. So I have to accept that and hit open. And so now here we have our client running. So what we're going to do next is attach it to a stage. Uh, we're interested in the pose detection stage over here. And as that is loading, we're going to come over here. Uh, it has this area here for you to put in a custom four-digit code. Uh, and that will show up here as soon as it finishes loading. All right. Hi, everyone. All right, so our code is CUM6. All right, and so it's currently receiving all of this data and sending it to this output MIDI control number on the MIDI channel sounds.pink. So what we're going to do next is link this up with Ableton. Uh, the way we're going to do that is, uh, so this is just a basic Ableton project that has uh, four tracks here, each containing some cool space sounds from NASA. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the MIDI selector. Now, what this allows you to do is choose a particular parameter to be controlled by the MIDI data that's being sent. So if I wanted to control the master gain of this track, I could click on it and you'd see that it would default to uh, MIDI control number 22 because 22 is the last one that's being sent. Now that's not exactly what we want to do. So I'm gonna come over here and uncheck all of these checkboxes until it's just MIDI controller uh, 14 being sent in here. So now that that's set, I'll uncheck it, come back over here to my Ableton window, click on the next parameter here, go back to sounds.pink, and we'll attach that to angle of torso. And you'll see that a second MIDI control uh, showed up here, 15 aligns with the 15 over here. So we'll uncheck it, go back to our project, third track, we'll map that to uh, left arm raised, uncheck it, back to the project, fourth track over here, right arm raised, uncheck. Now you'll see that uh, we have MIDI controllers 14, 15, 17, and 18 uh, mapping to angle of head, angle of torso, uh, left arm raised, and right arm raised. So now we'll come over here and turn off uh, from MIDI selection mode. And you'll notice nothing is happening. Uh, that's because we still have all of our MIDI data sends are off. So if I re-enable these, you should see these numbers start moving. And now if I tilt my head one way, it goes down because my angle of head, if I tilt my head the other way, goes up just like that. All right, so I think we are ready to go. So to perform with this, uh, we could start this playing. All right, and there's our basic example. Thanks so much for watching.